video will teach you how to incorporate a PodSnack into your website. A PodSnack is an embeddable MP3 player. The first thing you're going to do is open your web browser and type in PodSnack. This will take you to the PodSnack website. If you have not previously visited this site, you will need to create your own username and password. It's very similar to creating a username and password for an email account, except for this is for a PodSnack account. The very first website will most likely be the correct one, and I have already logged in. But if you have not used it before, up here where it says, Hello Ashley, you will create your username and password. Once you have done so, you can go ahead and begin building your playlist. To do so, the first thing you'll do is click right here on this huge yellow button titled Build a Playlist, and it will take you to the next step. Here's where you will title your playlist. I'm going to title mine Ashley's Favorites. You can title yours whatever you would like. Also, previously to creating this video, I drag and dropped my favorite songs onto my desktop so that when it was time to upload them, I would not have to hunt through my computer because one of your upload options is to upload from your computer. You may also upload from YouTube or record your own voice. I prefer to upload from my computer. It'll then ask you to browse. And as I said before, I had previously saved some of my favorites right here on the desktop so that they're easy to access. Keep in mind these files must be MP3 files, not any other file, because they do not uplo upload cleanly. So I'm going to select my favorite songs here and open them. And as you see down here, it's uploading the songs for my playlist. This will take a minute. You're going to have to sit and wait, maybe find something else to do while you're waiting. So instead of waiting for all of those to upload and having to watch that, I will show you a pod snack that I have previously created. Keep in mind you can upload quite a few songs. It doesn't have to just be one or two. It can be several. So here's the one I've previously created called Just For Fun. So after all of my songs uploaded, this is what it looked like. I did have the option of selecting the player. There's many you can choose from. I prefer the basic but you can choose any of the options for your pod snack. And then when you're done, you can click on the direct link and that will allow you to publish it to your Facebook, tweet it, or embed it onto your website. It's kind of a fun little tool to use to create you know, some music on your website, either for education or just for fun.